Good morning. Welcome to the morning chat where I tell you what's on my mind in the morning time. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful rest last night. Um, as you can see, if you see this lovely, lovely cord that is leaving my ears and down to my sound card here, child. Um, I have my headsets on. I, I, well, my earbuds on. I have my earbuds on for two reasons. Well, one reason. Just one reason only. Um, I want to make sure that I'm not echo, echo, a, a. I know, I know. That's the umbrella melody or whatever. Uh, I mean, yeah, Rihanna's umbrella. Um, under my umbrella, 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 a, a. So, um, I ain't going, I don't fear being striked because, child, that was horrible rendition of Umbrella by Rihanna. But anyway, I want to make sure I wasn't echoing because I noticed when I was reviewing my last morning chats, one of them had the echo like right here. And I sound like I was in an empty hall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I want to make sure I, the mic sounds nice. Check one. The mic sounds nice. Check two. The mic sounds nice. Check three. Are you ready? Ready? I'm telling my age. <laughs> I wasn't going to bust nut. Now, I'm going to leave that up to Johnny Rico. Go get his album because it just dropped this past weekend on all streaming platforms go out there johnny rico spelled with a g g h o n n y rico r i c o yes indeed go and get his stream his music uh today not tomorrow today okay um yes 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 this is tuesday T-Mobile Tuesday. Amen? Oh, amen. Okay, so if you have T-Mobile morning uh, reminder, more of a reminder than a, um, a message is, um, I, I'm, I'm going to be leading in a little bit more so that the glare from the light that I have doesn't, you know, you don't get, you get to see my eyeballs, at least a few of them. And I noticed that at certain angles, you you can see me, my eyes, and not the glare like if I'm sitting straight up, okay? Um, one day, I'm going to get me a, a light tall enough because this ring light, got you just if i sit up straight i'm not you're not gonna get you're gonna get glare all day so i need something a little higher to do and i, I might rearrange my lighting situation so that you don't get such a, a glare in my glasses from any lit situation in the back because <laughs> your auntie is lit he said shut up car what you talking what you know about lit I know something about lit. I'll be tapping into the young people's language and 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 um understanding child, whatever. Mind your business, okay? Well, this is Tuesday, September 13th. And it's T Mobile Tuesday. Like I said, the reminder is if you have T Mobile, they have a T Mobile Tuesday app where you can get things for free. Things like I got me a Dunkin' Donuts gift card, $2 gift card, and guess what? And paid for my breakfast yesterday. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get meals, you get um, travel bookings for less, and I sure enough get $0.25 cent off at Shell gas stations through the Fuel Rewards card or the Fuel Rewards that you can get on your phone. 
25 cents shy. Heck yeah. I'm down for it. I'm here for every cent that I save on the morning on T-Mobile Tuesday. So if you got it, go look for it. Um, they'll have meals. They'll have um, a significant discount on getting meals at different restaurants and stuff like that. So check it out. Morning announcement is uh, the morning chat from last week's Tuesday should be available on my YouTube page, according to Akara um, channel and important according to Akara podcast. Okay. Um, and soon I'm going to get back to podcasting as well. Um, I just took a little bit of break because I had paid for it now, really. And I heard from an, another fellow podcaster who I definitely want to have on my show as an interview um, about a way that I can podcast and it's free of charge. Yes, yes. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, you see these mugs? This is that morning chat. I've been having these mugs since last year. Mm-hmm. And um, they're available at according to com. If you're having an issue buying any of my products on springs.com, according to Akara, let me know because um, I'll be getting my stuff on the side. I mean, at, at at wholesale price. So, of course, it's coming the way I expect it to come. But, honey, I want to make sure y'all can still get my products. I haven't been on that. I haven't been there for a minute because, you know, I hadn't been promoting a lot, just mostly product placing. Yes, indeed. Um, I had an okay sleep. It took me a while to go to sleep yesterday. I mean, last night. And um, I woke up in the middle of the night and so on and so forth. Um I had to turn on my AC again. It just kind of chilled the apartment down to a good sleeping temperature. You do know that you sleep best in uh, 60 degrees. I think it's 60 something degrees at a good chill. If you have your home at a nice chill, it's perfect to go to sleep. So, um, yeah, I just turned it on just for a few minutes to chill down my apartment. And it worked eventually, but it didn't, you know, it wasn't a good, um, it wasn't a quick rest. Now, I'm leaning in because the glare is just getting on my nerves. If I sit all the way back, then you can't, eh, whatever. I could take off my cool glasses and you could just see me like this. So that's how I'm going to do, okay? How about that until we can get some natural light? Um, this is the second time when I came on here and just all natural, no makeup, no chat, there's nothing on. Now, I am an all natural chick who likes all natural stuff, and I like to come across all natural, but I do like a good lip and a lash. You see these little tiny bitty, um, lashes I have, natural lashes. Now, I would like me a little more to it. And mama will get more into that later. Maybe I'll maybe I'll buy me some lashes. You haven't seen your girl with some lashes on. You know, maybe a strip, you know. I gotta get back into beautifying. And trust me, in the future, in the very near future, you're gonna see Miss Zakara, Auntie, Miss Auntie dolled up. When I started going behind a paywall, mm-hmm. cheers. That'll be a part of my morning announcements when I set that up next month. Anyway, let's get into it. So, um, I, and I get, I, I kind of sabotaged myself sitting up and trying to put on headsets and trying to hear y'all. I don't know why it just didn't work. I ain't worried about it. We ain't gonna cry with spilled milk. So. I was watching P Valley last night. Yes. Oh, that's another thing. Oh, you get T Mobile 
go to T-Mobile Tuesday. They're offering stars for $1.99. Now, if you've had stars before, you're going to have to put in a different email address or they're not going to, they're not going to honor your $1.99. Okay, they're going to say, oh, you can't, you know, you can't get it. And go, girl. Go, boyfriend. And go and get, if you want stars and you're into most of their shows, which I realize that, you know, if they don't come out with another episode of BMF and at the end of P-Valley, I'm pretty much over it. But they have $1.99 for three months. And if I recall correctly, they you pay all up front $4.99, $4.95 or whatever for the three months. So go get it. Okay, get it. Get a free email address to Google or something like that. And get it, child. Go on and get it. So that's how I'm watching P-Valley. So I was watching P-Valley and the character Keyshawn, she's one of the um, dancers at P-Valley, the club, or the pink as they call it on there. And... um. She is in a very toxic relationship. And I want to talk a little bit real quick before I have to get off that that was on my mind. I was watching that and I wanted to judge her so bad. Like, girl, he ain't good for you. Get out. Get out of that relationship. Leave that. Leave that man. He is beating you and he's beating your child, you know. Spoiler alert. Uh, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. There, you don't know what episode it is. So, so it is a spoiler alert. There is a part where she finds out that her man, not even her husband, boyfriend, is beating their child. Okay. And, but she kept making excuses, excuse, excuse after excuse. And I was like, girl, if you don't get out of there. Okay, and I wanted to judge her so bad. I want to say, girl, you stupid, you stupid. But then as I was beginning to say in my mind, I didn't even say it out loud. I, in my mind, I wanted to judge her and it's like, I can't. Because I've been that stupid girl. I've been that stupid girl who would not leave a toxic relationship. And nothing more toxic than someone that is putting their physical hands on you. Okay. And this is not exclusive to just women either. There are men that are getting their hands put on. And they ain't in a part of the LGBTQIA. Mm -hmm. Girls, ladies, let's talk real talk. There is some of us women that is putting the paws on some of these men. And because they've been raised to never put their hands on a woman, they'll let that woman hit on them. And I, I mean, we don't hit as hard as a man, but if this man is not doing anything and he's letting you hit him and slap him and, and, and hit him up against that, it still hurt. You know what I'm saying? It still hurt. And that's still abuse. If you're putting your hands on him first and he's not hitting you back, Y'all not fighting? It's abuse. Okay. So I was watching it and I said, I can't even talk. I've been that stupid girl. Um, I've all and, and I've only gotten out of the two and I'm I'm saying relationships by the grace of God. Real talk. I've had my hand I've had I, I've had a man put his hands on, on me. And it was been only by the grace of God that I got out. You know what I'm saying? Got out. One, he was toxic because, you know, he began to degrade me verbally and alienate me emotionally, you know, that way. 
And that's toxic. And I was going to I was going to stick out that toxic a relationship. I was going to stick it out. He had to leave me. I was going to stick it out with a child. I was going to stick it out. I was going to stick it out because I I was a young woman. I was in my late 20s, but I was still young with a child. I had a reputation. I, I was I was more worried about being showing everybody who said that I could I would never get a man and that or what I thought people felt because most of the time it's not what really what people feel it's what we think people is thinking about us it's called in the Bible pride of life and if you saw my special um morning chat on Saturday on, on live you'll see it here on you on YouTube later on this week God's willing but the pride of life that I'm 28 I'm single I don't my son's father isn't as involved in his son's life as I wanted him to be as I thought he should have been now, notice I said what I thought. This pride, this all this is pride. Pride, 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 pride. You don't want nobody thinking that you stupid. That you got with a bum. You had a baby by a deadbeat. And you can't keep a man. You can't, your your good man radar is all the way off. You don't want no one to realize that. You, you're a little flawed in your man picking, especially as a single woman with a child. And then all of it's pride. All of it's pride. All of it's pride. And you know, pride goes before a fall. And one thing I learned in my personal studies with and, 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 and devotions and communications and communing with God is Consistently, Old Testament, New Testament, God gives grace to the humble, but he, you know, he resists the prideful. And that is to you, 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 you do things because it make you look good. OK, you do things what you think is good for you. And not what's good for what is really good for you. You lying, cheating, doing all of this to make people think that you are a certain way, and you're not. You're not. You're not living an authentic life. You're living a life that you think people can look up to. Who you are? You'd be surprised if you just be who you are and you be honest. Um, and you tell people, "Look, I need help. I'm in a, a bad situation, and I need someone to help me to get out." Or you you humble yourself and pray like go oh God. I thought I made the right decision. I was wrong. Help. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In Jesus' name. And he'll be right there. God loves being a superhero and saving you. He loves it. And any Christian, and I'll say it to anybody's face, because I know there are people who say, ah, he can he get tired of coming and rescue. God never gets tired. You going to tell me a heavenly father, an all omnipotent God, all powerful God actually gets tired of coming and saving your life, coming and helping you out, his child ever. Y'all thinking about God like he, you and me. We get tired of coming to our children's rescue. We get tired of constantly going and helping somebody out when they ask for it. Now, sometimes he has to say, no, no, you're not ready for my help. Okay. Because you keep putting yourself in that same ditch. Okay. 
and he's going to have to deal with you differently, but he's always going to be there to help you out. Might not be the way you think it is. You know, you might think that you, had, you, you get in debt and you say, Lord, I need more money so I can pay off this debt. And when he don't come through with that money, you think that he's forsaking you and he hasn't. Because you're asking the wrong question. You aren't asking him, Lord, how are you going to get me out of debt? Because God has 99 ways to get you out of debt. 99. He got 99 million ways to get you out of debt. 99 million ways. And just giving you money to get out of it isn't always the way or the way he helped you the last time. Isn't the way he's going to do it this time. Okay. And you get mad because he doesn't do it the way you think he should do it. But he's there. He's like, I'm, uh, I'm showing you how to get out of debt. I'm giving you a job. Pay your bills. I might give you a job. Give you an opportunity. Someone could come to you and tell you, oh, you could do this, da 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 and you turn it away thinking that that's not God. Because you don't think that that God would send it that way. I asked him for $50,000. I didn't ask him for a job or a brand deal or this. He could be saying, you know, you could do it like that, but you don't, you're not hearing it because you don't think that's, that's not what you asked for. But he's like, I'm going to give you the $50,000, but it's not going to be in a lump sum. You're going to have to work. I'm going to give you opportunities at your job. You're going to be able to get overtime. You're going to be able to get a second job. You're going to see for higher signs everywhere you go, get a second stream of income. Second stream of income doesn't mean that you got this business, that business, third business. Having a business does not guarantee income. Oh, Lord, then turn it from toxic relationship to what God can do for you. But it's not always the same thing. Y'all sitting up and thinking that God is only one way. And he answers prayers. And he loves when you humble yourself and you come to him and say, I need you. Oh, Lord, I need you. So any religious folk that tell you God gets tired of helping you out, or they quote Benjamin Franklin or whoever said God helps those who help themselves, Turn them off. Get away from that person. They are an idiot and they have not gotten, or they're, no, I, I, I'm sorry. First of all, I, I said it. So that's how I really feel. But the real, the, a better word of saying, there are young Christians that haven't quite grown. They need a, more growth in, in the Lord because I was the same way too. At one point, I said, God helped those who help stuff. God ain't going to always be. I was there. Just, you know, you like to thank you and leave them and, and, and let God raise them up. Let God teach them. Let pray for them so that God can open their eyes. The fact that God loves being a superhero. But you also have to open your mind on the many ways that he could help you. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So that's pretty much all I got for you today. That was what's on my mind in the morning time. Before you judge somebody about being in a certain situation, remember when you were that. And if you have it, maybe you will. That it could happen to you too. You can be that dumb bitch that stays in a toxic relationship. Are you in a toxic relationship? Get out. Now, if you can't get out right now, you better make plans, especially if they're putting hands on you. I don't care if he married you, okay? I don't care if that man married you or that woman accepted your proposal. If she's cheating on you, if she's like, you feel gaslighted, if you feel love bombed, and now they love bombed you, and then now they're treating you like a step, a redheaded stepchild. That you deserve so much better than that. You are enough just the way you are. Okay? And you can only get better. 
you get out of that relationship. God don't want you to be in any relationship where you feel less than great, less than who you are. Let me put it that way. You want to be sober. You know, you know if you ain't that great of a cook right now. You know, if your food is nasty. But he he don't have to say, Girl, yo, you can't cook. But he sit up there and eat your food every night. You you doing something. You could do better. A good man is going to tell you, you could do better. Better. A good woman is going to say, you could do better. And if they really in a position, they're going to get you cooking classes so that you can cook better. Okay? They're going to get you a, 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 a recipe book, a, a recipe book, a cookbook. Of foods, you're gonna introduce your people like you. You ever tried da, 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 da. before you get offended? That man is good to you. He ain't slapping you around because you burnt the egg. You know what I'm saying? He's not calling you all kinds of non-cooking hoes because you didn't. You burnt. You burnt the egg. You burnt boiled egg. Some people can't boil water. You know what I'm saying? Some people cannot boil water. If they're constantly arguing and raising their voices to you, that person needs help. And if they're not willing to go get help, why do you need to be their punching bag, verbal punching bag? Get out of that mess. You don't have to be there. Ain't no God in heaven is telling you to stay in an abusive, toxic relationship. Okay, and girls, especially you, us women, girls, that man didn't put a ring on your finger. Man, bye. Tell that nigga, kick. Watch me leave. <laughs> Watch my back as I leave. You get the heck out of there. Okay, and if he's holding you at gunpoint, then you sneak your way out of there. But get out. Okay, like the Jordan Peele movie, get out. Don't stay now out of pride. Especially you young ladies who think, uh, or I'm 20, I'm 35. I, this is the only man I'll ever get. Child, if you got him, you can get another. Better one than him. Don't go and get another one just like him. Go get a better person. Or don't be staying in relationships just to stay in relationships to say I'm in a relationship. There's no pride in being in a relationship and you're unhappy just to say I'm in a relationship. I'm married. I've been married for 15 years. I had a friend to say, how, was, how can she say anything? I've been married. At least I've been married. Yeah, you said I've been married, but have you been happily married? Even if you get in arguments and stuff like that, you can say, no, nah, I, I can't live without this person. I've had a friend, they've been very gawky about what she what she know about whatever. She can't even keep a man. Yeah. I I don't necessarily, at this age, I'm kind of happy I haven't. Because some a lot of these men are just toxic masculinity. Um I'm still broken. Well, no, I'm not, because Jesus was broken for me. But but I have, there's still things that I'm learning about myself. And I am so happy I did not get married in a covenant with somebody because I would have been toxic. I mean, it's not always the guys in your life. I, I might have been toxic. You know what I'm saying? Judgmental, crude, rude. You know what I'm saying? True. But I'm so happy that I'm not in a, in a marriage or a relationship to say I've been with Rufus for 30 years. And also, last thing before I get off this mic, is all relationships, I'm not talking about romantic relationships either, just talking about romantic relationships. I'm also talking about toxic work situations, toxic friends, mm -hmm. toxic churches. Yeah, we church folk don't want to hear about that. If you go to their church and constant, the pastor is always talking about and making you feel like less than great. Now, at truth hurts sometimes. when you. It only hurts when you're denying the truth. 
Okay, when you got to get snapped out, you know, when someone has to slap you, girl, wake up. That hurts enough for you to wake up. Make the change. I'm not, I'm talking about the ones that like, you ain't nothing. You can't even follow the commandments, right? You know what I'm saying? It's just constantly dogging out a certain community like the LGBTQIA community. If that pastor is constantly uh, making you feel like ish and that you couldn't possibly be loved by God, it's time for you to make a church change. I don't care if your ancestors from 1816 went to that church. Leave. Why are you there? Don't turn your back against God. Turn your back against that toxic church. Church hurt is real because churches is people, and people are rude and crude and judgmental. And I don't know what the hell they're talking about sometimes. Turn yourself against that religious church, not God. Okay? He loves you. And that person don't know what they're talking about when they talk about God don't love you. And that you are going to be condemned to hell because of how you live your life. God can change anybody, including them and you. Anyway, I got to get on out of here now. Now, if you want to see the recap, and usually I be giving some real good nuggets on Facebook Live on my morning ride um, after the morning chat where I recap the morning chat. Um, but I be giving a little bit more sometimes. There's things that I don't say here on Instagram Live and on YouTube that Facebook be getting some, I don't know, there's, there's, there's people that I, I feel like this watching Facebook that just draws more out of me. Maybe because I'm fully awake because I didn't walk on out to the car and the air, you know, and I don't know, something about driving. And you get a little commentation. And sometimes I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't make God proud of some of the things I be calling these people on the road. Towards the Ross driver, child. Anyway, let me get out of here. Remember, love yourself enough to get out of toxic relationships. No matter whether it's romantic, friendships, work relations, get out. Okay? Y'all have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.